getting some work experience while studying is what hundreds of students aspire to do. Their goal to use this on-the-job training to add to their skills and also get a better understanding of what the job market has in store for them. For many years, top corporates have been among the most sought after, but there may be early signs of the winds of change. Meet a new breed of India's young, not restricting themselves to the big firms, but heading instead to startups, even if it's just for a few weeks. For a job today, there's, there's, there's multiple aspects that people look for, right? There's one thing where, where you like the work or not, uh, but I think there's far more important thing that would you fit the culture, would you like the place that you go to, every newspaper you pick, every online portal that you go to is talking startups and, and the entire taboo around being young as an organization has completely moved from that being a probably poor thing to the best thing that can happen. Yeah, because And again the shift is the same, it's not the money, it's not the job, it's really being, you being able to add value and be successful. I think, I think that's, that's what has changed and that's what I believe is leading to this entire shift. Startups are now featuring high on every college-going student's list for work experience. Among them, Suganda Aluwalia, a third-year economics honours student at Kamla Nehru College. She is currently working with the operations team at Gurgaon-based startup Food Panda, an online food delivery portal. I think I've always thought about interning because um, it's always like a good idea to kind of, uh, you know, like once I finish my graduation or even my post-graduation for that matter, I think it's always a good idea to kind of have a feel of, of what the real world looks like in the sense that, you know, an internship is just a peak but I think it's better to know and it's always a plus because it helps you to re relate your theoretical knowledge with your practical knowledge. In India, this food startup currently partners over 12,000 restaurants across 200 cities with its presence across 43 countries around the globe. During her two-month internship period, Suganda has been working extensively with the core operations team to refine, improve the current website operations for a better access with a team that she believes is almost as young as her and hence very approachable. Owing to that fact, the organization is a startup. Startups, she says, offer a sense of ownership. Their small young teams are a good fit for those still studying, and hence chances of learning are greater. When you're interning, so you're kind, you you kind of know that you know you come in the bracket of people who are not who are the least experienced in the organization. So what you're really jittery about is whether you know you'll be able to make it through and everything. So there are people with two mindsets. There are one who who go for like the uh, big MNCs, you know. So so I I think that kind of adds like a very fancy name to your resume. But um, I think also like like in my particular case, I'm I'm doing my undergraduation right now. So so I think if I step into a company like that, I, I might not be able to have much to even contribute to. Like, you know, it gives you this, because it's such a big firm, so you kind of feel like a very small person working in a very big organization. It's great news for startups who now have some of the best talent at their disposal. And in this war for talent, startups are offering high sky stipends. You know, I think it is the, uh, the ability the creativity and the innovation. You know, today's businesses, they run on innovation. Gone are the, the times when uh, there were fixed parameters on which sales and marketing and all those things used to run the business. Now it's the innovation, the ideas, how we can bring about a change in something and innovate. So I think that innovation brings them that kind of, uh, you know, uh, growth and, uh, you know, companies are ready to pay because they see the value in them. And so startups are now recruiting more than twice the number of interns hired in 2014. E-commerce biggie Flipkart has doubled its intern to 300 as compared to last year. Snapdeal has taken in 60 compared to 10. And healthcare app Practo has hired 35 interns compared to the 5 odd interns hired in 2014. We are at a point where we have so much work and so much good work that, that people can pick up it's stupid to waste any bandwidth, yeah? So, so definitely we put people onto live projects. We, we have had interns who have created our SOPs, yeah? And, and that's like absolute core to the operations. 
and we've had interns do that. These these guys are from IIMs, and they've they've done a fantastic job of it, right? So, so you put them into real time situations, and then they flourish. And it's amazing to see how young people can bring such a fresh thought and such a structured approach to to the madness that you've built. Third year student of management, Tenzing has also been working under the HR department at Food Panda. An aspiring entrepreneur herself, she handles recruitments, hiring and screening candidates according to their job descriptions. And this, she says, is an experience that she hopes will help her in the long run. I think I'll be, I've experienced a real life work experience, like you know how it is actually be to working in a corporate business or in a business firm. So you'll have a taste of what you're going to look forward to in the future when you're going to be an, an employee yourself rather than an intern. So I think that's one of the most important things I'm learning at an internship. Hiring young talent is also the organization's way to showcase themselves to the best talent in the country. For startups, this is often the best way to hunt for young, raw talent. Talent assessment firm Meritrack says that startups may hire over 3 lakh employees by 2020 and their survey found up to 80% of job aspirants preferring to work at startups. Clearly, India's young are betting big on starting up. With the growing number of startups and India being the third largest startup base in the world, there are now many more options for students keen on getting that work experience. Besides e-commerce and food, Online retail is yet another area expected to boom in the coming years, say experts. Archita and Shreya are both second-year economics honor students at St. Stephen's College. Coming from a creme de la creme institution only meant fighting a tougher battle to stand out. Third-year students with already a lot on their plate, Archita and Shreya say interning at the fashion e-commerce portal Lime Road gave them an option of working from home with lesser work burden, something that might not necessarily be the case in a big corporate. It's a very social kind of platform. It incorporates a lot more things than just the business side and just the fashion side of things. So, because I am an eco student, but my interest is not limited to just financy things and stuff like that. So, what I was personally interested in is this more behavioral part of it, the social networks aspect of it. And what I found was that they were doing very um, productive research on uh, these aspects. So what worked for me is the unique vibrancy of the ideas, A. And secondly, when I am actually dealing with people from Lime Road, they treat me you know, as, as an equal. So they yeah. take my opinions into account as much as they would take from somebody who's not an intern probably, who's a worker. And so that's something that really appealed to me because my ideas were valued, my suggestions and recommendations were invited, they encouraged that sort of behavior. Internships at startups are not just a big hit with students from Artstream. Students from some of the country's top technical institutions are also eyeing startups. While there are thousands of tech experts and developers in an MNC, a startup can assign better roles to a young techie. So what we look for is engineers from NITs, IITs to head the development and the testing part. Uh, the technology what we use uh, is whatever the latest is available. For example, we use something called Solar Redis and Ruby on Rails. So, and it doesn't matter if a person knows it or not. So what we look for is his ability to learn. So, if he is quick and quick learner, we will hire him as an intern. And what we look at is his can-do attitude. Can he uh, deliver on his own? So, at uh, startups like Lime Road, people are given ownership of a project. So they have to see from the start to the end, they have to finish the project, right? So we give them total freedom. And with convenient work options are also some opportunities for getting hired, since many of these startups are still growing. Chetan Desai interned for two months in the digital marketing team during his final year. He was then pursuing Bachelors of Business Administration from IP University and was offered a part-time job at Lime Road during his second year. Initially, I was uh, interning with them for two months. I was in the marketing department and I learned many things and I was uh, uh, handling uh, mobile app installs. And okay. then they liked my work mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, a, an honor to work with my uh, bosses and my, uh, the entire team as I learned how to uh, 
work in a team and many things. Today, a year later, he has been offered a full-time job at the startup to take up post his undergraduation. Only 19 and he's allocated a marketing budget for mobile app promotion ads for the company and yes, already has a job. When it was about to get over, then uh, I got a mail from my, was it, they, they're offering me a job. So I was like very excited and it was a very different thing for me because uh, I wasn't expecting that. My parents are uh, like very happy for that and I'm also very happy and I don't, now I don't have the stress that my friends are there so they, they will, after graduating, they will go and look for a job and but that, that I'm very lucky that I won't be doing that and I already have a job in my hand. So with increasing number of youngsters wanting to be a part of the startup ecosystem, does this mean corporate honchos will now have to battle with these startups for young raw talent? Too soon to say, but this trend is sure off to a kickstart. Larger companies, and I've been in extraordinarily large companies, you know, they have very well-crafted internship programs. Uh, they're probably mollycoddled a lot more than we can. In fact, we throw our interns right into the deep on day one. Uh, they don't even get an induction. They probably get an induction on the phone. That's yeah. true. You know, we just we just get onto Skype and we give them an induction. Um, but uh, but I think so. I think larger companies they have better programs, better well well run, etc. But I think I think what what over time people have realized is that the coolness factor of having solved an interesting problem plus the ownership, I think it just trumps. According to a NASCOM report, by 2020, over 2.5 lakh people will pursue their careers in startups. And given the fact that many are now choosing to intern at startups as well, the numbers could certainly go higher. With camera person Sumi Diogam, this is Simitri Kaur for NDTV.